So at the end of yesterday's game, I heard quite a lot of people talking on the Waterloo Road about the different reasons why we lost uh, yesterday. One of the reasons uh, that I heard or overheard was um, a husband saying to his wife uh, that it was the crowd's fault. Now, I looked back into the annals of my YouTube channel and looked at the fixture last year that was also on the 2nd of January against Brentford and I mentioned specifically how flat the crowd was. And that's always going to happen on the 2nd of January because it's a normal working day, it's an evening midweek fixture, it's after the celebrations of New Year, everybody's back to work and that was definitely a factor yesterday. We were the fans were flat, the atmosphere was flat, but that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the pre-match uh, enthusiasm. It's another thing I heard being mentioned on the walk back to the car yesterday. So over the last year or so, Wolves have developed their pre-match show to uh, from just a few flames at the Villa game, that's the first thing that we ever saw, to then fireworks round about the turn of the year, and then a full-blown light show and music and DJ at the Liverpool game with the fireworks and stuff as the players entered the pitch. And for a massive game like that against Liverpool I thought that was perfectly acceptable and I think it really added to the atmosphere. Whereas yesterday against Crystal Palace the light show and the fireworks I thought were a little bit embarrassing in hindsight because of what went on to happen in the game. Now Wolves have lost five of the last seven games at home that's not very good and I think part of it is possibly down to the lack of atmosphere generated by all this light show and fireworks. Personally, I don't think it does the job that it's supposed to do. It's a very impressive and uh, wonderful thing to look at, to watch, but it doesn't get the crowd going at all. It's so loud in there before the game starts that what I found is that people just start chatting as the game starts because they haven't had that time to talk as they enter the ground because there's all that noise going on then. So what I would uh, propose is that um, all that light show and stuff could be pushed as close to kickoff as possible, and maybe as the players are walking out, we have a few minute, a minute or so of this craziness, and then crescendoing in high ho silver lining pads. It's clear to see that the other teams are looking at us and copying our ideas. Aston Villa have started doing fireworks now before their games. Southampton do a light show and stuff, and I know that light shows are not a brand new thing. And perhaps because of the time of year and because of how light it is when football matches are starting now, we can, we can do those sort of light shows. I think it's certainly something that needs to be considered going forward. I appreciate it for the big games, I think it adds to the atmosphere, but for the smaller games, I think it can be a little bit embarrassing sometimes and, and doesn't serve a good purpose. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other videos on the channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.